What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about a brand new Yaris SUV that was slated to be introduced this spring um, at the Geneva Motor Show, but that was canceled. And we're gonna talk about a new Lexus NX variant, as well as another piece in here as well, like the TJ Cruiser. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, I just cover Toyota and Lexus vehicles, so subscribe if you're into that sort of thing, and let's roll. Over at Motor Trend, next-gen Lexus compact crossover may be called the NX250 and get the RAV4 motor. Uh, Toyota is trademarking NX250 in multiple markets, so let's find out which markets this is going to affect. Recent trademarks for NX250 by Toyota, the parent company of Lexus, and places such as Australia, New Zealand, and the Philippines may point to a new entry-level powertrain for the Lexus Compact crossover. It's likely the Lexus crossover will also share its 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with the RAV4 it shares. It's going to be sharing a lot with the new RAV4, uh, the plug-in hybrid variant, the Prime as we know about. Um, but for these, I guess, smaller markets where they don't require a ton of horsepower, and maybe I, I would not be opposed to it in America either, to be honest, if they have an entry-level NX, maybe starting around 40, thousand us dollars with this you know let's say they're able to bump horsepower up from its 203 horsepower to maybe about 215 i don't think that's a bad idea but i they're never going to do it and the reason is is that they would have done it already probably um, if you look in china they have an es 250 that has this motor and here in america we either get the hybrid es 300h or the non-hybrid, the V6, uh, with a little over 300 horsepower, which if you guys haven't seen part one of the Lexus ES past, present, and future video, go ahead and click that icon above here. You will enjoy it thoroughly. And it goes without saying that, that this 250 has not been trademarked in the United States. And what is kind of confusing here is that the NX debuted as a 200T, the two liter 8AR FTS turbocharged motor was the first turbocharged uh, mass market motor, at least here in the United States for the Lexus brand. And that was a 200T. Uh, so the 250 here is going to slot above that in nomenclature, but definitely below in power. And in 2018, they renamed the 200T uh, to the 300. So uh, de definitely that 250 would be more than likely that two and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder that we see in plenty of Lexus, sorry, plenty of Toyota models in the lineup. And before we move on, the, the NX is slated to debut, I would expect probably June of 2021 and expect it to also debut with that plug-in hybrid variant, very, very similar to the RAV4 Primes. Over at Gear Patrol, Toyota may drop a wild boxy cousin of the Land Cruiser next month. The TJ Cruiser concept was unveiled, I believe it was a 2017 Tokyo Motor Show, and it's super cool. It is going to be largely, more than likely, a hybrid for most markets, uh, but they're saying that, they've been saying that this, is, this vehicle is going to be announced for a few years now, and it never has been. They say it finally may be going into production. Best car in Japan says Toyota will announce a new TJ Cruiser in May of 2020, which is a month from now. And, you know, they're saying, well, that said, reports from last August had Toyota unveiling the vehicle in October of 2019. So, again, take this with a grain of salt. It is possible that they could be debuting it. And the rumors that I have heard that is they're going to debut it for Japan first. And I don't think it's going to be an exclusive to Japan, but I don't feel good about this vehicle coming to the United States. And a big part of that is that Toyota is that Toyota and Mazda are working together on a plant down in Huntsville, Alabama, and there's a new crossover coming out of there. And while there's a small chance it could be this TJ Cruiser, it's more than likely going to be the Corolla Cross that we keep hearing about. Um, would I rather have this TJ Cruiser? Absolutely. I think it's it would be an amazing vehicle and give Toyota buyers an option here in the States uh, for a van that's not the Sienna. So uh, I can't wait for that next Sienna to come out, hopefully this year. What do you guys think of the TJ Cruiser? It's not a replacement for the FJ Cruiser. It's not a pre replacement for a Land Cruiser in any way. It's its, its own vehicle, um, this little boxy van-like SUV thing. Over at bestcarweb.jp, it's a Japanese rumor mill website about upcoming vehicles based mainly in their market. But Toyota was supposed to unveil the new compact SUV Yaris crossover the Geneva Motor Show on March 3rd. Because of the coronavirus, obviously that didn't happen. 
They're saying the platform is the same size as the Yaris, is, but the body size is slightly bigger. Well, the platform is a TNGAB platform, but they made the body a little bit bigger. And some of these numbers are a little bit off. I feel like they're lost in translation because Google's trying to translate these things from Japanese. But this is the first picture of it that I have seen. And they're claiming that this is what it's going to look like. So what do you think of this little yellow uh, crossover looking thing? Um, I think it looks okay. It's kind of cute. Definitely it reminds me of the same segment of like a Hyundai Kona. Um, so definitely exciting that Toyota is definitely venturing into that uh, small unique space that is pretty competitive right now. They're saying the overall length is 230 millimeters longer than that of the Yaris and it is wider. So the rear seat space and luggage space are greatly expanded. They say the wheelbase is 10 millimeters longer than the Yaris. I don't think that it would be 10 millimeters. I would expect that it, maybe it's, I mean, that's just one centimeter. I would expect it to be longer than that, but what do I know? I don't, I don't design these cars. Powertrains, two types of powertrains, the same one and a half liter hybrid as the Yaris and one and a half liter gasoline engine. There's no one liter power plant. Of course, these are three cylinder motors and they're going to be extraordinarily efficient as well. Here are those dimensions. Um, they don't mean a whole lot to me because of, this is still a rumor mill, but I think probably the biggest takeaway from this is the looks of this thing. Um, I think that this vehicle will look very similar to this and it does remind me a lot, guys, a lot of the Lexus UX that I, I mean, look at the fenders, the rear lights. I mean, this thing looks very, and, and even the rear window line there looks very, very similar to the Lexus UX. Not quite as powerful because the UX will have a, has the two liter hybrid set up, but man, I would be happy to drive this thing around. So what do you guys think of the news today? The NX250, will it come to America? Doubt it, but I think there's a good chance that many markets overseas will get it. Um, we definitely see the new TJ Cruiser potentially coming out next month. So we'll have to wait and see if that rumor mill site is gonna be correct on that. Um, but man, I would love to have that vehicle. And I would love to have this little Yaris crossover come to America as well. But again, I don't think we'll ever see it. This is gonna be exclusively built in France to my knowledge. Maybe they could build it in Japan as well. But I will see you guys in the comments on this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out, stay safe.